All right, so first I want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash. I also want to say double honors to the apostles and elders of James Drummond Stone. To you, I came out there pushing this truth in sincerity to the full elect. Shalom. This is Brother Conan from James Jamaica, you the lesson. And um, today I want to talk about, you know, just how our people are in their deep sleep. You know, you're in a state of trance, you're in a state of delusion, you're in a state of being lost. And the scripture refers to it as deep sleep, you know what I mean? So, here we have a case where um, there's this cult church, as what they want to call it. We already know um, what cult means, you know what I mean? But, you know, this wicked ass church, let's put it that way, you know? And... This church, basically, this church leader would have had uh, the people and, uh, you know, an illusion. And they solely believe in what he was saying. Uh, bear in mind that this man would have, you know, come off as if he, as he state, his most excellency, you know what I mean? All the, the, the bull crap that he would have been saying before. You know what I mean? Telling people um, how to, to remove dish, wash liquid out of their homes, um, to you know, do some crazy shit. And people just did not see that something was off with this man. You know what I mean? People follow blindly, you know, behind this person. And to top it off, top, top it off with, a, um, with what took place. The man invite them to the church on Monday, the 17th of October, about a departure for an ark. You know what I mean? Which, according to reports, people were sacrificed, threw it through a slash. You know what I mean? People died. But even though that would have happened, you have people today who still defend what took place church members and now you look at it and say wow are you kidding me you know what i mean but the thing is this is something that we see all the time you know what i mean not necessarily the, the extreme like that but sleep is sleep nonetheless delusion is delusion nonetheless and that's what our people are under. So we just, I'm just here to basically bring out this lesson to just point that out and to show that the Most High, Yahu Hashem Yahu Shai, would have placed you people under a deep sleep. So I'm going to start with the first scripture, and I'm going to go to um to Romans. So I'm going to go to Romans 11 and start from verse 25. All right. Alright, so this is Romans 11 and verse 25. And it says, For I would not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own conceit. Alright? That blindness in part is open to Israel unto the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. And that blindness is also can or can be referred to as sleep. Or people are not blind in the fact that they don't have eyes, literally. You know what I mean? They are blind to the fact that they are not spiritual enough to see things. They are literally sleeping. They are according to the scripture, they are referred to as the, the house of dead. You know, they are they are a condition of dead, as it states, lacking wisdom. So our people are in a state of delusion, lack of knowledge. You know, mental, um, a mental illness. Because if you look at someone like that, you saw all these things. Uh, the lady said, she don't know what happened. But all she know, it was a mystery. Because at first, this is someone shot fire at one man who sit on one place. And no shot no catch the man. And this is what are her. Uh, you know, this is what, uh, beside everything that take place, beside the whole 
rainbow um sitting behind the, the pastor beside everything that the other the woman forget slash to it or whatever or however it work out nothing else stands out to her or, or is seen by her apart from that she can only remember the so-called good the negative things that will get done which i said so-called good because their good is the fact that oh he may have healed someone or how he may have provide food for someone for a day or for a month or for a year however it be this is now seen to people as good and because they are seeing this as good nothing that you say can change how they feel but top but to, to point out where all of this is coming from Yahweh Bashem Yahushai put you people under a deep sleep all right let me move to the next scriptures right so All right, so now we're going to move to Isaiah 29 and verse, we're going to start from verse, um, maybe start from 9 or 10. All right, we're going to start from verse 9. So this is Isaiah uh, chapter 29 and verse 9. It says, stay yourselves and wonder, cry you out. And cry, they are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Right, because our people are behaving like people that are drunk. You know what I mean? When a man is drunk, many things happen to him. I can tell him a lot of things. When he's done, when he's wake up back out of the drunk state, with him, many a times he don't remember what, what was taking place. You know what I mean? But our people are spiritually drunk. They are drunk, not with wine, or strong drink. Let's continue. Verse 10. For the Lord had poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and had closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers, had he covered. So the entire nation of the house of Israel, apart from the elect, that's the, the chosen two that you would have taken from out of the valley of the shadow of death. And those dry bones you would have placed, um, uh, you know, basically the spirit of life into those dry bones. And they are back on their feet today, preaching the true word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua in his correct state. Everyone else is blind and under deep sleep. Your prime minister is under deep sleep. Your, the, the, the Rastafarian community is under deep sleep. Because if people look at what they are doing, you see that it is madness. Regular so-called people that you think that are sane and are, they are mentally ill. They are under a deep sleep, doing stupid things, things that are not normal. Things that you, if you were to do these things back then, people look at you as crazy. You know what I mean? How people dress. Sometimes it doesn't make any sense because what you're doing... So you, 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 have you seen our people dressing more while? It's crazy. The ear styles, crazy. You know what I mean? The things that they do, yo, it's crazy. And the other nations been like this, and our people are adapting it because the Israelites are not like other nations. You know what I mean? So you might look into the into 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 the deep ends of Africa, the eastern Africa, or to the, those Amites, and you see them doing crazy things, and you say, yo, them people are mad. For example, traditions like. We are, you have so-called Africans who basically, um, you know, fondle the cow or rub the cow until the cow urinate in their head. To, for a that's, that's madness. That's deep sleep. But they were born that way. They are, they are just, they are just um, um, men. They are just vain men. But you Israelites, you are the sons of your boss and your side. I'm speaking to you Negroes. Latinos, Native Americans predominantly, you are different. You're supposed to be different. So when you're acting like these nations, it's 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 a, it's a war. It's a war because you're supposed to be the pinnacle, the, the 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 light of the world, but yet you're acting stupid and dumb, right? Because you have sinned, broken the laws of this covenant of the Heavenly Father, and you have been placed under a deep sleep. 
we look at our people as mad mad people. That's the prophet just saying the eyes and the edges. Things that you people do, it's madness, yo. But again, you may look at us the same and say what we're doing is madness. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, true will reveal who will be who, who were the mad, who were really fools. Who were doing stupid things. Because if you're doing stupid things, you win stupid games. If you're doing stupid things, you're going to destroy yourself. And we can clearly see who is destroying themselves daily. You know what I mean? By things you eat. You know what I mean? You show somebody that, look, if you eat pork, this is what will happen to you. Oh, I'm not care. Maybe I eat it all my life. I'm not care. Then you're stupid. Say somebody would did a feed you until they say it's, it's good to eat filth. And then you, someone is telling you that it is not good. And you find out that this is filth. Because you've been doing eating this filth all your life. You're going to continue to eat filth. That's how stupid people are um, today, yo. You know what I mean? And it's just what it is. We're not here to try and save everyone. Which is going to lead to the next part of the lesson. Which is what? You know what I mean? Person that are in a deep sleep. If your Bashi Mesha is not calling you. This world is not for you, yo. This word is not for you. Oh, let's get into that. Alright? Oh, sorry. Let me continue this. I thought I finished this. My bad. Alright? So, it says your seers and your pastors and the leaders basically are, are, are blind. Are, are in a deep sleep. We can find that Andrew only is doing things right now. He's basically following orders and think that what he's doing is, is wise. You know what I mean? But people are calling out the bullshit that he's doing. Because at some point, some people can say this, this way I said, that makes sense. But in some other aspect of life, they are blind to certain things. Which is why they are still under deep sleep. Because first and foremost, most people don't know who they are. Most people don't know their purpose on earth. You know what I mean? Why are you here? What is your goal? What are you, trying, what are you here to achieve? You are blind to the target and what the, and the purpose that you would have been brought here for. And to say this, according to the will of Yahweh Hashem Yashai, a lot of you are going to die. Die in your ignorance. Die being um, blind. And loving to sleep, yo. Let's continue. Alright? It says, And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Right? You are blind to this word. Which is what the script the world is all about. The word of God is the what is the scripture of life. It is what life is. But you are blind to that, which means you are blind to life. Let's continue. Alright, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, for it is sealed, and the book is delivered unto him that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Right? So, Nakira, you're bringing to the, the scholars of the society, the ones that you think that are smart or wise, they don't know this because they're blind from it. They're under a deep sleep. They're under a curse and a spell. But these same people will tell you how much they love God, but can't tell you one, one, good, one attribute about God apart from that. He's the God of love. You know what I mean? Their, 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 their knowledge of God is based upon what they would have been told by someone, not what they would have read and found out for themselves. Oh, your pastor said this. You know what I mean? Which he doesn't know the truth because he cannot un uncover this truth. This truth is for the elect. He says, my servants, I'm going to reveal the secret to the servants, the prophets. You know what I mean? So all of the prophets will know this, but again, how would you know? Right? How would you know who's a servant? Again, many of you will just not get it. Alright, let's continue. It says, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as these people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. So all you fear is because of what, 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 what men told you, not what the Bible told you. You know what I mean? Or you think about guys what people told you. You, you haven't read prove it for yourself. That's why you get confirmed when people who read the Bible ask you questions. You know what I mean? But again, you're here to play your role, which is to be what? 
You know what I mean? To be lamb to the slaughter. That's why you people are dying. Because silly games or stupid games re- reap stupid rewards. You go to a stupid function and people died at the stupid function. We think to their lives. Or we think um, basically set up that for you. The most I re- um, call for your soul you because you were, you were being stupid. You know what I mean? That's just the path of life. But let's continue. All right, let's move from that scripture there, no? So, I'm going to jump to Matthew 7. All right? This is Matthew 7 and verse, we're going to jump to verse 6. All right? So, for people like this, that the cure you, told, you tell them, they're just not going to get it, which you're not going to know uh, everybody that is like. But when you find out that this is a person like that, what you do? You avoid them. You know what I mean? You don't try to teach them anything. So this is what it says here. This is Matthew 7 and verse 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Neither cast you your pearls before swine. Lest they trample them under their feet. And turn again and rend you. Right. So why are you, why are you going to give um, whole holy things to a dog? A dog don't know. A dog no flick. F- 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 do nothing but being a dog. Bark, lay down in, the, in ashes, you know what I mean? Some dog go as far as doing some filthy crap, you know what I mean? That's what dog, uh, dog swine, you're not gonna put your, you're not, well, you're not gonna put your, 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 your goal or your treasures in front of a swine. What do a swine know about treasures? A swine know to eat everything him see, or I think him can, him can eat. Because he's a cleaner. You know what I mean? He's here to purify the earth of it, the, the things that are harmful to you. Which you should not be in, in taking. You know? So people are like, some people you have to look at that, them like that. Not that they are lit. So some people behave like swine literally because you're eating things that, you know, you're becoming a scavenger. So you're, you're actually like a swine. You know what I mean? But you don't give these people um, the, the, the time, you know? You find out this man not have knowledge, of the, not have knowledge or not, not have a wisdom for, for listen and for learn or try to learn. You move on. You don't waste the time. You know what I mean? You move on. That's what the stage we are, we are at now. We're heading into the stage where we're going to be basically, our, our tongue is going to be, um, we're going to cleave to the roof of our mouth. Meaning what? We're going to keep our mouth shut. So people who didn't catch this news, uh, catch the, the, the good news that we have, which, which is Babylon is going to be burned with terminal destruction. You know what I mean? That karagma, that mark is going to be implemented and who don't take it, you won't be able to sustain a society just like how the job is being pushed out there now and they are trying to reduce you from um, getting you know, um, connected to society without having it. That's the new future, that's the new norm that Andronis is begging for. And uh, many more uh, other leaders, yo. But again, many people will not see this because again, you're under a deep sleep. Alright, let's continue. Alright, where was I? Alright. So we're going to jump to verse 12. Uh, verse 13, sorry. So jump to 13 in that chapter, Matthew 7 and verse 13. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go their heart. So don't watch the crowd. Many people will be going, in, going off in different um. Um, folly to destruction, yo. There's a lot of road that leads to destruction, but the true if you want to get lost, there's a lot of way to get lost. Your target or goal to where you want to go has one path, but to get lost, once you go off that path, you are lost. You know what I mean? Unless you get back on the path and end up to the, to, to the journey. You know what I mean? So that's all the kingdom of heaven is like. There's only one path to it, and that's what it says here. It says, Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be with go thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which did lead it to into unto life, and few there be that find it. This is a precious thing because what? When something is scarce, it means it's precious. Things gain value based on how scarce it is. And this truth is very scarce. 
not many people, not many noble, not many well studied know what we know. And that's a gift unto us. You know what I mean? By Yahweh Hashem Yoshaka, wisdom comes from the Heavenly Father. Alright? Let's continue. Um, uh, let's go to let's go to this. Let's go to this. This is Matthew 13 and verse, verse 9. So Matthew 13 and verse 9. It says, who hath hears to hear, let him hear. Verse 10, the and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you, the few, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Right? That's a very strong word, um, strong, um, um, scripture, yo. So like, yeah, it's a very strong scripture because this is not for everyone. When Yahusha came, he, was, he didn't come to, to, to deliver everyone. He didn't come to save everybody. You know what I mean? Or for everybody to know what he was talking about. That's the reason why he, 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 he spoke unto them in codes. Parables, dark sayings, you know what I mean? Because it wasn't for them to learn it. And even though we are out here now speaking the, those parables unto you people, plain and straight, it is still dark to you because you're sleeping. The light is not shining in your way, but you're sleeping. You're under a deep sleep, a deep spell, a trance that you are believing a lie and not the truth. And the care of people looking into you are seeing how dumb and stupid the, the, the lie that you're believing looks. You still accept it. You know what I mean? The virgin birth story is that's a, that's a big lie. About someone um, giving birth and not having sex. That's a lie. The Bible doesn't speak of that. The Bible called Joseph the father of, of the man called Jesus Christ, which is, son of, which is Yahweh Shai. The Bible said that he was exposed, our uh, mirror was exposed to him. Meanwhile, she was promised to be his wife. You know what I mean? And it goes further to explain to you basically that the, he begot um, the man called Jesus Christ, which means what? He, he, he came from a lineage. And he's, he's after the house of David. Who's after the house of David? Joseph. The line of Yahushai, the man called Jesus Christ, came from the house of David. Your lines come from the seed. Your, the seed of David goes through, it's, it's talking about men pl pl planting their seed down and down into what? Women. You know what I mean? That's how simple that is, yo. But people don't catch, get that because you're in a deep sleep. You're going to believe the fantasy lie. Oh, an angel put this, the, the, the spirit into Mary and Mary brought forth the Son of God. You rather believe the lies. You rather believe that a serpent, literal serpent, you know what I mean? Was here on his, um, on his belly or crawling around or whatever, speaking. And people were eating apples and getting wisdom and all this crap. You, you believe the lies. You don't understand it's a dark saying. You believe the, 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 the filthy that was brought to you by these churches. Because all these churches are off. Every single one of them off. These religion, religions are off, yo. Because it's not dealing with a religion in the sense of how it is pushed to you people today. Because anyone can become a Rasta. Anyone can become a Christian. Anyone can become a Muslim. This all for all crap is not what God is doing. This is Babylon, yo. That is Babylon Jews. That is the um, confusion. The Tower Babel. All these religions are centered around the Tower Babel, yo. Trying to bring everyone to, uh, as, into one. Confusion as I state. Right, let's continue. Right. Alright, so we can pause there. So we're gonna go to the next scripture.
So we're going to go back to Romans 11 and we're going to go to 11 and verse, can I start from verse 7, right? Ah, let's start from verse 3, okay? Uh, Romans 11 and verse 3, it says, Lord, they have killed thy, thy prophets and dig down thine altars and I am left alone and they see my life. But what said the answer of Yahweh unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so then at this present time also there is a remnant, a small portion, according to the election of grace. So the most uh, Yahweh Shai is keeping back an elect by the, the purpose of that grace. Right? And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Uh, let's jump from that. We, can, we could read that nonetheless, but you can read that continue. I just want to get to the point. Verse 7. What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for. Because this is for the old, as I said, the path for Israel is what? To get the kingdom. But you lot of you people are not getting it, yo, because you're, you see, you're, you're, you're in the path to a church. What? The path, what, what is a path? A path is a, is a way, a journey, a, 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 a road. You think that church that you're in, or cult, or whatever you want to call it, you're in, is going to lead you to good path. Hell no, you see where it brought you to. But a lot of you people are still hanging on to that bull crap, yo, because you're still under the deep sleep. You're still under the trance. Right? So, it says, What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election had obtained it. And the rest were blind, are blinded. Right? According as it is written, Yahweh had given the spirit of slumber. Again, who gave the spirit of slumber? The Mosai gave you spirit of slumber. You're, you're sleeping. Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. On to this day. And let's continue. And David said, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block. And a recompense unto them. You see what is what you're leading to? You're walking in the blind, leading the blind, and you're falling into a ditch. You're walking into a ditch. All angles that you're taking is leading you to an, into a ditch because you only have blind leaders leading you. And because you're blind, you don't know where you're going. You can't see that you're being led by a blind person. Look how clear it is that this man set up a gay function, basically. With this big rainbow crap around him, you know what I mean? Prepared, because again, there's allegation about this person over, over and over about a lot of filtered things. He's not sown clearly, you know what I mean? Just look at the tweets, um, well, not tweets, but look at the message that he's been posting. I've seen screenshots of some of the message, uh, messages, because I didn't know about him to a certain extent until this incident, our incident. He's been saying some crazy shit, but people been following him, yo. Might as well go to Obia Worker because it's the same crap. You're going to Obia Worker basically. You know, so people go to Obia, Obia purse, um, people and things work for them. You're going to say, oh, they, they got it from the Obia man, so he's a good person. You people are crazy, yo. Let's continue. It says, according as it, oh, sorry, I, put, I read that read already. It says, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always. I say then, uh, let's, we can pause there. All right, let's go to the last and final precept for, for this lesson. All right. So this is um, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and verse 1. We're going to read a little into it. All right. Because like I said, it's just like how we are pointing out you people to be blind and in deep sleep and mad at times you look at us as mad but again the day tells or at the end of the day it will be revealed who would have walked on the correct path so we're just waiting here perfectly for everything to be revealed yo this is um wisdom of solomon 5 and verse 1 
Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they looked for. And they're repenting, you're going to repent then, and they're repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall within themselves so, sorry, shall stay within themselves. This was he whom we had sometimes in the region. Let me pause here. Many of you will not get the chance to say you're gonna, some of you are going to die. Most of you are going to die. Alright? Let's continue. It says, This was he whom we had sometimes in the region and a proverb of reproach. He says, We fools accounted his life for madness. Are we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor? How is it he, how is he numbered, Salakia, among the children of God and his lot is among the saints? We are, therefore, have we heard from the way of truth, the part that you're walking is not the way of truth, and the light of righteousness had not shined unto us. And the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness. What you're doing is wickedness, yo. You're wearing yourself in the way of wickedness. Right? And destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. What at pride profited us, or what good at the riches with, with our vaunting brought us? All those things are passed away like a shadow and as, the, as a post that has that hasted by, as a ship that passed over the waves of the water, which, at, which when it is gone by, the trace thereof cannot be found, Neither the pathway of the of the keel in the waves, and again you, you hear the word pathway there, right? So, you know what I mean. So, you people are lost, yo. And until you hear the prophets piloting out unto you in the aisles and edges, saying, "This is the way, walk you in it," and you are able to hear that voice and understand what is being said, you are going to die, unless you repent. You are going to die. Lest you understand the way of the Lord and His will and what he, you are here for, then you are going to die. Right? And dying for the wrong cause. So with that, I want to finish up and say, Kalalal, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Again, which is to give all praises to them and the Father in the name of His Son. And Amen. Um... Hope someone was edified. Hope the lesson was edifying. Hope someone would have learned. Again, we know that two-thirds of you people will not get this because you're on a deep sleep and you will not learn until you die. But the elect out there, hope this word is reaching out to you people, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Israelites, wherever you are, for on the earth. Again, the bonus to the apostles and for you I came out there doing this truth. Shalom.